the perfect vehicle for this Remembrance Sunday. The Guy Lizard, Armoured Command Vehicle of 1940. Britain appears to be the only country to develop and use the Armoured Command Vehicle during World War II. Even though Rommel captured a few AEC Dorchesters in the desert. There was a clear requirement for a 4x4 command vehicle equipped with radios for use as a mobile headquarters. The development program was awarded to Guy in 1939 as they had finished the development of a heavy armoured car for the war office. Guy used the new Lizard 3 ton 4x4 chassis that the company had just developed. It was powered by the Gardner diesel engine, which was most unusual for a military vehicle. At this time, the prototype was basically an open box with the driver's position accessible from the command area at the rear. This would be modified in the AEC Dorchester command vehicle in which the driver's compartment was separated from the rest of the vehicle. The original contract for 30 of these, but only 21 appear to have been built. The majority of these vehicles remained in Britain, but some were sent to join the 8th Army in North Africa, and at least one was captured by the Italians. Stats. Country, UK. Entered service 1940. Crew 6. Weight 10.5 tons. Dimensions 21 feet 3 inches. Height 8 feet 9 inches. Width 8 feet. Main armament only small arms. Maximum armour 47 inches. That's the same as the Dorchester. Power plant, Gardner 6 cylinder, developing 95 horsepower. Performance, 35 miles per hour maximum speed, and range 350 miles. Due to the classified nature of the job in 1940, very few photos exist of this particular vehicle, which is very hard when I'm trying to do a video on it. So it just said on the website that I was looking at that troops of the 1st Armoured Division in France in 1940 made wooden mock-ups of command vehicles. Now the only one I can think of would be the Morris. And the only reason why they would do that that I can think of is so the Germans bombed them and thought there was some sort of camp or some sort of a headquarters, rather than bombing the real thing. But yeah, there you go, I guess.